You said something really interesting though, like it, the do cool secret stuff. Yeah. Is that a big part of like what motivates you is being able to do something that maybe nobody else has thought of or other people can't do? Yeah. I mean, when it comes to game design, that's really what I'm thinking of is, and you can, there's different ways to explain things. And I'm actually, I'll explain what they both are. And the latter ones sound more boring and adult-like. And one of the things I'll say before before this, that one of the things I'm worried about now <laughs> is calcifying too much and, and losing the younger form of the motivation of just being excited about things. Because it is this industry is so hard and it's so much work. And I mean, I pay, you know, because it's a privately owned company, right? I essentially pay $3 million a year as opposed to getting paid for the privilege of making video games. And it's like, why am I imagine that plus, you know, all the grueling things that happen and, and you're not even getting compensated for it. You're right. You're getting mega compensated for it with the hope that someday you're the money for it. will It's like having back. kids. It's yeah. <laughs> Except you don't even have kids at the end of yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. But, but the way that I thought about it back then, and it's a little bit of a of a young way that's a little bit too foolish, but there's a lot of good about that too, is like I wanted to understand secret things about reality, about the meaning of life and why we are here that other people are not even quite looking for, right? 